Hello YouTube and welcome back to another 3D Ross tutorial. Today I'm going to go over the basics of animation in Unreal Engine 4 using the level sequencer. So to start off we're going to go up this cinematics in this top bar and add a level sequence. I'm just going to name our level sequence Move. So now this level sequence bar will pop up. I'm going to select the object that we want to move, in this case this cube here. I'm going to go to Add Track. Back to a level sequence and add edit cube 11 which is this cube we've got selected here. So now on the zero frame I'm going to add a transform key. I'm going to go over to about 100 frames and I'm going to move our cube along and add another keyframe. So now we've got this movement track here. So I'm just going to hit save here and close this. So now if we select our move in the viewport or you can select it in the world outliner so you just type in move or level sequence and it'll come on I'm just gonna hit auto play so it'll auto play when we play the game so if we go into the game now you can see our cube moves if you want to trigger this we can just turn off auto play and if we go to if we're dragging the box trigger so when the play goes on this trigger we'll have the animation start so create the trigger go to blueprints level blueprint just right click make sure your trigger selected right click add event collision on begin overlap and now I'm going to select our level sequence go back in the blueprints right click create a reference now I'm going to drag off and I'm going to type in play and here where it says play sequence player just select that. Now connect these two nodes together and hit compile save. So now if I play the game notice how the cube doesn't move but when I enter the trigger box the cube moves. So that was the basics of move animation using the level sequencer in Unreal Engine 4. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to 3D Ross on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.